Let's go to that side now. <laughs> the sun. What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't say to be a crowd. I said get love. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the Bachelorette episode nine. So we are in the fantasy suite week, and this week we have two episodes, nine one and nine two. Uh, nine one happened on Monday, and nine two happened on Tuesday. And during the nine one or part one, we have like four overnight days. In part two, we have like two days. Is that the one that happened today? The day I, I record this video, so we have two dates and a lot of small drama and uh -huh, everything. So let's talk about it. I'll tell you, Risha, they have the girl chat. Risha is talking about her men. She said that uh, things with Tina Rache is only get better. Um, Zach is a gentleman. She said that she doesn't think when she's with Zach. If she believes everything Evan says, so she says she's falling in love with Evan, but she hasn't told him yet. So Gabby. Is falling in love with Jason. She's falling in love, or might be already in love with Eric. So the first overnight date that we have, we have Gabby and Eric date. During the day portion, they went to like a river or like uh, a lake, and that lake that have different stage uh, step. You can jump for like a, a small area. You can jump for a bigger and middle one, and you can jump for a large, a very high point. So they were jumping all day long, and when they got to the very high, the highest peak, Gabby was so scared to jump, and Eric was, take, was taking care of her. It was a thick, you can jump, you can do it. Gabby was so scared the whole time, and finally they jumped in together. She said, I jump is like taking a leap, <laughs> taking a leap of faith to jump or fall in love. You know, they love those type of things in Russia we're talking about. The risk that it takes to fall in love. And the day portion was so good. Oh, we are talking about the last. Gabby said, talk about like in the night portion, she talked about her parents and stuff like that. You know, talk that happened with my mom. How she raised, she had to raise herself. How her parents got separated. All oh, that's really here, but that's so much during the season. I just why I don't need to say anything. You guys already know. Eric said he's in love with Gabby. Told her Gabby that he loved her. Um, I think John and I also Gabby say she loved Eric. Um, so that was it. They have that beautiful day portion, beautiful night portion, and they were handed the card for the fantasy suite. <laughs> what do you think? Obviously, yes. <laughs> and they went to the room, and everything was perfect. That was the first day, the first of the night, and Eric at the end, he left, but he was so worried about the other man. He doesn't know how Gabby's gonna do because he loves her, she loves him, so isn't it supposed to be the end? Who knows? Okay, let's go to the next Risha and Evan day. So, during the Evan and Risha overnight date, so Risha said that she's falling for Evan. Risha asked a question to Evan that. Do you think you can see yourself getting engaged? I definitely can. Um, I think that, you know, the moments that we've had, we've continued to build, build. Them. They were in the boat, they have like some kind of nice night. I don't remember exactly what kind of date they have. I'm pretty sure it was a good date because I blame, I blame the AGT. It's not my fault. Because during even day, they choose to show Tino what we worry about what Rachel is doing with the other man. I start to like Evan so much. I don't even know. So they did. I remember a little bit. They were in like in a boat. They had some nice time in the yard, just enjoying the day. And they did. Um. Now they have the overnight portion. Um. Rachel says she's falling. She told Evan that she's falling in love with him. She said, I "Remember." Uh, I don't say this word lightly. I'm falling in love with you. I already fall in love with you. Even so happy for me, but the last during the hometown evaluation that he was falling in love with her. So this time I should say to even I'm falling in love with you. I, I am falling in love with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and oh. I truly mean 
<laughs> That's about it. Uh, they have the oh, they accept the date and they have the overnight time. So Fasha is happy. The date was great. Everything was great. So the next date she have is with Tino. Tino overnight date. They have like a little picnic before that they were hiding house and they have the secure location where they were swimming but Rachel was nervous the whole day uh, we learned about that she was nervous because of the hometown, Tina hometown. I really hope that tonight we're able to have really serious conversations about last week. She said to Tino that <laughs> the last thing your dad told me. Well. I'm not gonna disown him if he gets engaged. Like I just can't accept it. Like Chino said, no, no. He said, at the end of the day, it's my decision. If I choose you, if I love you, my girl gonna love you. So they're gonna have to get on board with that, and they're gonna love you because eventually they're gonna see the woman that I see. And Chino told Rachel, I'm in love with you. Rachel said, I love. He said, I love you. Rachel said, I love you too. Rachel <laughs> loved Chino. Yes, she loved Tino. She's really, really falling in love with everything. <laughs> I love you too. I am falling in love. And it feels so good. Okay, let's not go. So they accept the day card. They have the overnight time. They didn't show much of the overnight time or the card the card. Yeah. That's about it. The funny thing, they always have, I don't know if it's the edgy thing, the way they cut. The last time when Rachel was complaining to Tino about how bad her conversation with Tino dad was, Tino said, I'm, I'm really falling in love with you. Rachel forgot everything that she said. That's the same thing when she was complaining about the home time. Tino said, I love you. <laughs> she said, I love you too. Okay, let's move on. So we have Gabby and Johnny. They, it's a nice day. They have like a playful time. They were like on the beach. I don't remember exactly the activity. They just uh, maybe they were in the boat or stuff like that. And after they were sitting by the beach, have some kind of picnic and they have a conversation. John is like, Gabby is dope. Gabby is like a dope person. You know, I don't even know if he said exactly the same, but the way he speaks is like that. Oh, you're such a cool person, but it's like she's knowing yet to be engaged. She's like, I don't see myself being engaged in one way. I'm about to win back at that city and say that, you know, I'm joking. My life where I do feel like, you know, I'm like ready to be engaged. I mean, are you asking where I feel about that whole thing? Because yeah. we have a week left. <laughs> I'm literally bad as passion bad as gonna be shoot you filming now, so I need to get ready. And the funny thing, I'm I'm saying that because even before, if somebody was rooting for Johnny right to win this season, the person would be so disappointed because before even Johnny did they already show the commercial Bachelor in Paradise and Johnny's in the trailer with Gabby haven't even done Johnny yet. The relationship is not ending yet. But we already know that Johnny is bad, so I'm like, I'm in paradise. I'm not, there's no one getting engaged in one week. Who knows? So the Gabby have a conversation with Johnny. They, are, they, they, they have some, they have a lot of fun together, but when they get to the series of engagement in two weeks, two weeks, it's stressing. Me. And Johnny's only 25. It's like he's not nearly ready to be in that commitment in his life yet. It's too soon for him. He told Gabby he's not ready for that step in his life. It's more so just me bringing 100% to the table and, and if I'm ready to bring 100%, if I'm not, do I drag you through that? Gabby on this door because Gabby in her mind, she have Jason, she have eight two strong con um, contestants. So she know, she think, she say that she's sure about the two of them. Johnny is like, she have a lot of fun with Johnny, but... She wanted to see if Johnny was a little bit serious about that type of thing, but Johnny is not ready, so they have to break up. And, there goes my and Johnny left to to go to the hotel, get ready for paradise. <laughs> that was nine one, so nine one have all those faithful fantasy suites. So that was yesterday. So you think that if we have four different things this way, two days is gonna be smooth, right? Everything that's gonna happen today is just gonna be 
beautiful no you were home so they save the trauma take the trauma for the end now we are in night two today that we have with Zach and Zach and Jason overnight day I'm like I really thought this was gonna go well because both I love both of them but oh then so before before getting to the drama take part let's talk about like all the things that they included I had the episode Eric so after he had such a beautiful day with Gabby um he's worried that he's messed up, messed up his connection because I forgot to say that um uh, maybe I talk about that early so after the day with Eric, Eric was worried about Gabby spent time with other men. We gave him like a soft ultimatum, like mm, don't go with other men in that home. Yeah. I think I remember we had time. Didn't plan to tell you anything, but I just wanna tell you where I'm coming from. No. <laughs> Gabby wasn't happy about that. Just being honest, like we talked about this off camera. Very he's worried that he's messed up the connection that they have they say he's in love with gabby he's just insecure so they show a lot of eric talking to himself a lot of screen time he says he's afraid to lose her and gabby going to talk to jc she's talking about a conversation that she had with eric and uh, she said that she feel like she's been pressured I feel like i was being almost pressured into a decision so she won this to be her own decision to make. I want this to be my decision. Never mind if you need me. Okay, sounds good. She still have to go on those day and find out she if what decision she want to make. Because she said Jason is like a soft spoken. They have a, a lot of fun time together. She think Jason is falling for her. She think they they have a strong connection. So all of us think that um, Gabby and Jason did. You know, do you want this one when Jason talk about tennis? So he used to be a tennis player. So they have like a fun tennis game. And Gabby is pretty good. Jason didn't have to teach her so much because she's been, she played as she's been playing tennis before. They are so fun. After the tennis day, they have like a date in the pool. And when they keep talking, you know, there everything was so going well. You know, like those old movies that, or maybe action movie that, it's calm and then the storm come. Maybe I don't even know. And so everything is still quiet and nothing, something crazy happened. You know, the quiet place. I don't even want to talk about that movie. Okay, so during the day it was okay. They had a night portion. Jason said, after he came back, it's been a while since he saw Gary because he spent like a week by himself in, in his hotel home. Sometimes we forget how much time those people spend alone before they have time to spend with the lead. So seeing his family was great, but spending one week by himself in his hotel home, he's not used to this environment. So Jason says, is. He talked to Gabby, now this is where everything go down, dun, dun, dun. So he said that it's hard to know what is real, to distinguish the real from the unreal. Constantly in my head, like what's real, what's not real, like I'm like questioning so many things. So they are in this bubble. Just when they really talk, <laughs> so they are in a bubble. Yeah. Within this bubble, because like I feel like you don't even know who I am completely. I'm like, I don't totally feel like I know who you are. doesn't know what is real and what is not. He said that he's the more realistic person. It's kind of hard for him to be himself. Himself completely want this camera constantly around him. Jason said that he's truly here for her. He's truly here for Gary. He said that he's spending time in real life. I thought that's so too. Maybe Jason, like he said to Jason so many times, that he's not ready for engagement, you know. Yeah, he's not ready for engagement, but he said to Gabby that he sees himself spending time with her together outside of this, you know. So Gabby was like, when he talked to Gabby, Gabby took time for herself to reflect on that. She didn't want to send him home directly because she wasn't ready to say goodbye. 
But he talked to her and he assured her like he's really like her. It's just that he's not ready for like a proposal in one week from now or two weeks. I don't even know. It's too soon for him. Uh, yeah. So she, I'm like, at this point, I say, oh, thank God she didn't say anything wrong. That's what I say. I say, Jason, this is what I wrote in my note. Thank God she didn't say anything wrong. Jason really like her. He really want to continue the relationship with her, right? So they both accept the, the, the overnight date that to spend time in the home together. I mean, they will make that decision overnight together. You know, the part that we don't see, oh damn, how much I wanted to see this part without a camera. I wanted to be there. I wanted to be the fly on the wall. I wanted to be that fly on the wall because the energy completely shifts. In the morning, they saw the bed, everything is organized. They just tried to tell us that nothing happened. I was, I didn't care about something happened or not. I just wanted to hear about the conversation that they have, like because they both decided. Since Jason is so uncomfortable in front of the camera, they wanted to spend that time to talk about the relationship. Like maybe he want Gabby to be his girlfriend. Like they continue to get to know each other. If you choose him at the end instead of Eric, you know. So if she decided to be with him, I wanted to see that everything that he told her, that he really liked it, and I think he do. But everything shifts such in a weird way, like he likes her, but he doesn't like her that much to even fight for her. Because at the end, Gabby, in the morning, Gabby was by herself, just crying. I'm like... He liked her, but he didn't like her enough to continue the relationship outside this room. I was like, I'm so disappointed, Jason. I'm holding for you. You want my pick. Come on. I am so disappointed, God. I'm like, he didn't like her. her. He didn't ha like her enough to even think about continuing the relationship outside the show. That's why I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in Johnny. I'm disappointed in Jason. I expect more for Jason. John is 25, not that I think about the age too much, but even Johnny, like the way he be, the way he carries, I just knew that he wasn't ready. It's not in that situation. It's like, I know that Jason has been uncomfortable with the camera all the time, but at least I thought that, oh, also, there's no camera when you choose, when you begin engaged, or if you walk out of this experiment with Gabby, it's like, there's no camera. I thought at least he could see himself with that. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Yeah, she was crying. And then she went to knock on his door and they have a conversation. I'm like, oh. yeah, I'm like, he was just saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whatever he was trying to say, I couldn't even understand his reasoning. He said, I'm sorry. She said, okay. It's okay, she's like, she hugged him, just say goodbye. <laughs> and you think this is over? Think again, there's another drama. Called. And then the last overnight day we have is Rachel and Zach. Rachel and Zach actually did, they were just talking about the hometown, they're talking about the backyard that they have. Like, she's Rachel said she loved. Zach home. The house is so beautiful. She loved the back. Yeah. Because there's so much she can just imagine his mom doing all the cooking. They are talking. Yeah, they were just happy. They walk outside and dance to the mariachi music. Yeah, Zach is so confident. Zach has been confident the whole time. He just knew. Let me see that he knew that Rachel is his person. He just said she's the one for him. Uh, the day was beautiful. They had so much fun. God, it seemed so happy. They, uh, in the night portion, the fantasy this year, everything was perfect. Okay, this is the real old movie now. Where everything is perfect. And after something weird happened, <laughs> and you have no idea that it was gonna happen because everything is perfect. One joke. I don't know if you watch Korean drama, and this is drama called The World Married Couple. And at the beginning, the actors describe her relationship. She said, One joke. Perfect. 
marriage is perfect, children is perfect, house is perfect, you love that. Oh my God, he cheated on his wife. Everything becomes judge. Everything becomes a disaster. I'm like, I just thought of that one joke. He did was perfect. And yeah, they have after they have an abortion. They are talking about the feeling, how happy they are. They both accept the take Santo wishes that he love her to go to home to not even fall in love. It's like he's so confident that Rachel is his person. And I have an overnight date in the morning after. The air quote conversation that was like, the air was so heavy. I love it when you can just taste the beans. I guess you know what? love to be the fly on the wall to see that conversation how awkward was it it was so awkward like you know in the toilet they show Zach that everything changed like 180 percent 180 180 after his his overnight relation like even the way they are talking is like I didn't understand. They have like a normal conversation, but the flow didn't go well. Like, it's like that they talk about everything during the overnight. They talk about politics, they talk about other things. They talk about age. His issue was the age. They said that Rachel asked me, Are you ready for proposal? Are you ready, ready, ready for proposal? He said he's ready. Because he has a conversation with JC, right? that he looks so disappointed and later he still looks so pissed he was so disappointed he said that everything was good with Russia on camera right after the camera he said that she felt unauthentic that's Zach word they have a, the major concern was his age he felt blindsided by Russia he said she was unauthentic I was like unauthentic so he said the way that she acted in camera was different from the way that they were off camera it was like he was talking to a whole different person i don't know a whole different person that they were completely different the second ratio that we see was not the same i don't know how to explain that the word doesn't flow out of my mind and the show olivia gabby say she says she's just sad about losing boy johnny and Jason, she said that she want to talk to Eric, let her, let her know how she feels. She come to the conclusion that she want to talk to Eric, he's her person, he love her, she love him, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she went to talk to him. And it was like, oh, he's been worried the whole freaking time. Think that he's getting ready for like the whole ceremony. There's no whole ceremony, Mr. Eric. So, Gabby wanted to talk to him at the beginning when she was talking, it was so worried. She, he thinks maybe she was dumping him and the conversation switched. She said, you are the only one here. And he was so happy, you hug her, they hug, they kiss. They're so happy, he said, you love her. She said, she love him. I'm like, so beautiful. Is it the end? I don't know. What's missing now? Usually I always say, I don't know what Jesse talking about. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I think what's missing with Gabby is that uh, is Eric ready for a proposal? Does Gabby want a proposal for Eric? Are they gonna leave as boyfriend girlfriend? I think they will leave as boyfriend girlfriend or if you want a proposal and that's the question is all about meaning for me and proposal. The problem is almost so now we have Rachel whole ceremony for her. I don't know if it's the whole ceremony for her, I'm just saying. So we are Tino Evan and Zach. Zach came first, he, he created Jason and then Evan came next and then we have Tino who arrived. Evan is, Evan is happy about his hometown. Tino is also happy, he says his hometown is perfect. Zach is so freaking, Zach is so mad. He's so big, he's pissed. He's pissed. I, he's pronounce that word. Rachel was so happy when she arrived also. She said, oh, oh my man was so great. <laughs> oh Rachel the passion. Oh God, I don't know what to say. And she was getting ready to end the whole taxi. Can I speak to you? Ah uh, yeah. And Jesse came to our scream again. Thank God he didn't say this time you have to go watch the whole ceremony in ABC website. He said oh no 
we have so much to talk about blah 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 it's gonna be cold I'm at the end of the season ever so they call someone here you're about to wash they say <laughs> every other day it's gonna be so dramatic so we can assure you that you're gonna have to wait seven whole day to get to see that drama to us I'm like I have no idea who Scratch is gonna send home it's gonna be Tino no way it's gonna be Evan I don't think so I still see him in the trailer is it gonna be Zach no idea oh she gonna take a three guy to meet her parents just like somebody did last season <laughs> did you see what it did ah uh, yeah i don't feel like clayton was judged i should i should save my opinion to the end there whatever uh i don't i think clayton was just so badly last season but i feel like Alicia also, she may understand Clayton a little bit more. That's all I have to say. After this season, she may understand him a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful evening and I hope you enjoy. You're not going to watch this whole ceremony in ABC. Probably we'll watch it next week before the final part one. And... Looking forward for that show in paradise. Thank you.